We are providing only 20% video as a part of promotion. For remaining 80%, that is 6 to 8 articles, current affairs video, NCERT videos and general studies complete videos, please subscribe to our complete package. 1. Why world's major deltas are shrinking? What are deltas? Which are the major types of deltas? Explain them. GS Paper 1 Salient features of world's physical geography. Why world's major deltas are shrinking. 500 million people live on river deltas around the world, a number that continues to climb as the population increases. Primarily as a result of human activity, the world's 33 major deltas are sinking and the vast majority of those have experienced flooding in recent years. As the upstream dams trap the sediment material, these deltas have been subjected to floods resulting in the coastal erosion. Human effects on river deltas ranging from engineering tributaries and river channels extracting groundwater and fossil fuels, trapping sediments behind dams, reducing peak flows of rivers and varied agricultural practices. As a result deltas are sinking at a much greater rate than sea levels are rising. Many more people depend on these landscapes for agriculture, but some of the most important deltas in the world are falling into the ocean because of short-sighted decisions. What are deltas? Deltas are found at the mouth of large rivers. A delta is formed when the river deposits its material faster than the sea can remove it. Which are the major types of deltas? Explain them. There are three main types of delta named after the shape they create. 1. Arcuate or fan-shaped delta, the land around the river mouth arches out into the sea and the river splits many times on the way to the sea, creating a fan effect. 2. Cuspate delta, the land around the mouth of the river juts out arrow-like into the sea. 3. Bird's foot delta, the river splits on the way to the sea, each part of the river juts out into the sea, rather like a bird's foot. 2. Is the sustaining demand for more caste reservations sweeping India to the darkness? Critically analyze the statement. If that is so, what will be the way forward for India? GS Paper 1 Salient features of Indian society, issues arising out of it. Is the sustaining demand for more caste reservations sweeping India to the darkness? Reservations based on caste were born out of the desire of the founders and framers of modern India and its constitution, to improve the lot of the socially and economically oppressed lower castes. In the hands of lesser and pandering politicians the whole issue became a political football. As a result of this now taking place the burning and killing, rioting and shooting, all in the name of justice and injustice of reservation. Caste-based reservation is an explosive and loaded word in the current environment in India. Ongoing Scenario after more than a dozen deaths and scores of injured Indians, the violent criminality and thuggery is rewarded by the government with the promise of reservation for the Jat community. Politicians are numb with fear, the fear of losing the votes of one community or the other. They continue to extend reservations to anyone that can bring people onto the streets and perhaps killing and injuring a few people. And if a few people are killed the cause becomes all the more glorious and in the name of restoring order and listening to people the governments buckle, perhaps to buy peace. No one in government or the elected opposition has the moral courage to call for a much-needed review and re-examination of the very idea of reservations, started as an affirmative action program, 
but now turned into a claim of a birthright. Such purchase of peace sets a dangerous precedent. The forces of more caste-based reservation have been emboldened. Unfortunately, in the den of opportunistic and pandering politicians of India, violence succeeds like success. This is how recurring voices of caste-based reservations are sweeping India to demise. The way forward. India needs to uplift hundreds of millions out of dire poverty. If Indian politicians continue to blindly and silently continue to descend into the bottomless cutter of pandering, India is in danger of becoming a battlefield of warring factions pitted against others based on faith, caste, region and language. If the current crop of politicians normally slumbers on, India needs to search for a new and bolder breed of leaders.